Happy game day, Vikes. Today we have a story on the door decorations, a new celeb match, and stories on Toys for Tots and Cookies, Coco, and Cram. I'm Riley. And I'm Sophie. And SVTV starts now. You may have seen teachers' doors decorated. Let's go over to Cali to learn more about it. You may have noticed lately an increase in hallway door decorations. Stuco members have decided to undergo the big project of decorating almost every teacher's door. We needed a simple little project that would enlighten the environment to bring holiday spirit into our hallways of Seaman High School. Stuco likes to make sure that they present themselves in a very welcoming way and so we figured by involving all of the teachers it really helped bring everyone together. Stuco has spent many hours planning and decorating the doors. Leadership did this last year and they decided not to do it this year so we chose to take the responsibility and one of our committee members decided to email all of the teachers and ask them whether they wanted lights, a snowman, or a present on their door. And we had a really good turnout, and so we just decided that it'd be a good idea to just like spread a little bit of Christmas cheer on the school. We have decorated 40 plus doors, so it has been an incredibly popular project. If you don't have your door decorated yet, we're working on them. We're trying very hard to keep up our little elves been good. The Christmas doors have lifted up many people's spirits and has had a positive impact on the students and teachers. We think it's just kind of making it more positive, adding some color and fun throughout the building. I definitely think that this affects us positively because multiple teachers have came up to us to thank us and they really take time out of their day to show gratitude towards us. The teachers enjoyed the outcome of their decorated doors. I think it makes it very festive in here and if anyone knows me they know that I love Christmas. I've actually got a Christmas tree in my room. Well I think people like to put up um, holiday decorations that gets them in kind of the mood for the big um, you know holiday break that's coming up and um, I think people enjoy it because it's kind of like um, taking some of the fun of the holidays and putting it in the classroom. I think my door is amazing. It looks so good and I love the um, sparkles that they put on the bow. I love my door. It's beautiful, it's festive, and I really appreciate it. Hi. Merry Christmas. I don't know about you, Riley, but I like those decorations. Now over to your news. Today is the last day to order your Viking Brew t-shirt. Pay the bank $15 and bring your receipt to Mrs. Averill in W10. Student Council is hosting a cookies, cram, and cocoa session, providing a place to study with tutors for students that want to study for finals. Let's go over to Cameron to learn more about this. I'm here with Mason Clark. Can you tell us more about the cookies, cram, and cocoa session? Uh, yeah, on Monday we are doing a cookies, cram, and cocoa for the second year in a row. Um, it is a social place to um, study for your finals. Um, you pay $2, you get in, you can have unlimited cookies and cocoa. Um, we start at 3 and we are, we're going until 7. We're going to have teachers, we're going to have tutors, and of course um, your friends can come and help you study with all your stuff. So yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? That's about it. Thank you. Reminder that it is immediately after school this Monday until 7, and the cost is $2. SHS Orchestra is selling Viking Pop Sockets. Get yours for $12 at home basketball games or from Ms. Barnett in the band room, 7th and 8th hours. The band has multiple fundraisers going on now. Nota Burrito is hosting a fundraiser on December 21st. Also, Papa Murphy's is donating 20% of each regular priced pizza to the Seaman Band Boosters. You must present the promotional flyer with your order, which can be downloaded from the SHS Schoology homepage. Now let's see what's going on in sports today after this commercial break. Are you tired of always dropping your phone? Well, now you can get a pop socket from the orchestra. You can easily watch videos, talk on the phone, and even use it as a fidget toy in class. It's very durable and even comes with a sturdy car attachment. Get yours at the North Snug during the home games at SHS.
Living in Kansas, we are frequently threatened by heavy rains, large hail, tornadoes, floods, and even snowstorms. Be sure to listen to the SVTV Weather Report daily so you stay informed. And now for your SVTV 5-day forecast, which shows the... The teddy bear toss is tonight between the varsity basketball games. Let's go to Sydney with more about this. Oh, I'm here with Kale. Can you tell us more about the teddy bear toss? Uh, yeah, so basically the student council is partnering with Hayden High School Student Council and we are doing a teddy bear toss. And if you know anything about that, it's basically you go to the basketball game and you'll be, you bring gently used stuffed animals and you throw them onto the court and then we will uh, pick them up and all donations will go to Toys for Tots. And Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, just I uh, we'd enjoy if you came out to the game on Friday, December 15th and uh, supported Toys for Tots. Thank you. Thank you. Twitter Sphere has determined that tonight's spirit theme is Jersey Night. Let's go over to Riley to see what the weather is doing. Hello, Viking fans. Currently, it's 53 degrees outside, and tonight it's going to get down to 35. This weekend, we're going to have some sun and clouds. And today in history is Joe Wilson's birthday, and there's only 10 days until Christmas. Merry Christmas, Bikes. You said the wrong name. Now back to your anchors. All right, that's all we have for today. We are going to leave you guys with a new celebrity match. Make sure you go out to Hayden tonight and wear your jerseys. Have a great rest of your day, Bikes. I've been told I look like Lindsay Lohan, which God help us know. And then I also have been told I look like Ellen Page from Juno, which also doesn't make me super happy, but those are the two that I've been told the most. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? American film critic? It's an old guy. An old white guy. Huh. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> um, are you happy with your match? No, I'm not. Do you think this website is accurate? I think it's stupid. No, I don't think it's accurate. Um, it's not really a celebrity, but it is a important character from a movie. There's a movie called I, Robot, and one of the main characters is Sonny the Robot. I've been told I look like Sonny the Robot. <laughs> I do not know who that person is. Who is Gary Lennox? Gary Lennox, American singer, and lean, a contemporary country pop, Rascal Flatts. Oh. Every long, long stream led me to where you are. And others who broke my heart, they were like no. Rascal Flatts lead singer Gary Lavox. Do you All right. think this website is accurate? Um, let me see him. Maybe. I don't think my nose looks like that at all. So otherwise, maybe, but I don't think that's my nose. <laughs> God, that, that hurts me that I'm being compared to a guy in a country band. What was your favorite match that you've seen so far? Um, I love the match with Mrs. Geis and Rosa Parks. <laughs> <laughs>